An impression is a negative replica of the orodental structures and the materials used to obtain the impression of the tooth structure and the surrounding oral tissues are called as the impression materials. This lecture describes three different ways of classifying the impression materials. The first one is the classification which is based upon the impression techniques. Second, the classification on the basis of the setting properties or elastic behavior. And thirdly, the classification on the basis of the viscosity of the impression material. So on the basis of the impression techniques, the impression materials are divided into two different classes, mucostatic impression materials and mucocompressive impression materials. The mucostatic impression technique is the one in which the impression material is fluid enough to flow and does not displace the oral tissues. Impression plaster, agar agar impression materials, zinc oxide eugenol impression paste and light body elastomers fall into the category of mucostatic impression materials. The mucocompressive impression technique is the one in which the impression material is viscous and it compresses the oral tissues. The materials which fall into this category are the impression compound, viscous alginate, regular, high and putty consistencies of the elastomers. The most commonly used classification is the one which is based upon the elasticity and the elastic behavior of the impression materials. On the basis of elasticity, the impression materials are divided into two types, non-elastic or rigid impression materials and secondly, the elastic impression materials. Impression plaster, impression compound and zinc oxide eugenol impression paste are the three impression materials which fall into the category of non-elastic impression materials. The elastic impression materials, they are divided into two types, hydrocolloids and non-aqueous elastomers. Agar and alginate are the hydrocolloids out of which agar is a reversible impression material whereas alginate is an irreversible impression material. Talking about the elastomers uh, also called as the rubber based impression materials they are of three types polysulfides, silicons and polyethers. Silicons are further divided into two types which is based upon the polymerization reaction they can either be addition silicons or condensation silicons. The viscosity is the resistance of a material to flow and on the basis of viscosity the impression materials are divided into three types high viscosity impression materials, medium viscosity impression materials and low viscosity impression materials. The examples of the high viscosity impression materials are impression compound and putty elastomers. The regular body elastomers are the only impression material which are classified under the category of the medium viscosity impression materials. Lastly, the low viscosity impression materials which have increased fluidity and the examples of low viscosity impression materials are impression plaster, impression paste, the hydrocolloids both agar and alginate and the light body elastomers. So what we see here is that uh, the impression materials they remain the same but it is the criteria which differentiate one impression material from the other and they fall into different categories. So this was a short lecture on three different classifications of the impression materials. Thanks for watching. Take care.